Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh. I run the Gnome Show. Um, you can find me at uh, American Gnome Productions on YouTube. Um, I would very much like to welcome um, the new members to the Gnomish Army uh, that have uh, come in the last day or two or three or four. Welcome. Thank you very much for your support. I highly appreciate it, and um, I really like hearing from uh, fellow creators um, or people that um, you know stumble on uh, one of my videos or on my channel. Like uh, you know, just a bit of validation. It's it it, it goes a long way. It, it 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 goes a long way to keep me focused and keep me you know remembering why I do this. It's not just about the short films and everything, although I do really do like doing that for, you know, like for, I like doing this, it's, you know, it's fun, um, but it's for you guys as well, um, because, you know, um, hopefully you find <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes of happiness or relaxation, uh, and you get a couple jokes and, you know, reactions out of me, you know, you know, on the journey, it's, you know, One. So, um, before uh, we uh, set off, um, the this one is called uh, The Darkest of Hearts. It's um, an FHU theater production, so uh, go give them some love. Um, by Blue Adam Entertainment. Let me go ahead and give them a sub and a like. Um, says this um i'm not even gonna i'm not even worried about like the the, the film tagline right now it says uh, this film was produced for acting for the camera a course offered at freed hardman university uh written completely by the students involved the film was shot in seven days after dark edited in a week and it had a budget of less than 100 dollars i've seen people do really good stuff with less so um going to be interesting. So um, let me go ahead and uh, load myself up a dab. Um, yeah, observing a little bit of tradition here. Um, I will be doing a stream on Thanksgiving um, and um, once I do my the live portion of the stream I'll have um, the um, Gnomish Movie Channel playlist up uh, throughout the day so that uh, anybody can stumble in and watch some of the films uh, that you and I have watched together um, over these I was over it's been over a, uh, over a year now yeah um, but with this format you know seven eight months now uh, once I got all my audio and video issues uh, sorted. I mean, mo I still have one or two, sometimes of my own making when I'm not paying attention, but that's me. Uh, like last time I did the, um, the, the marathon, I, I, I guess I touched my mouse before I left or something. Somebody, maybe somebody bumped my mouse when I wasn't here. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it, it put everything into mini mode or whatever. So it's still there, but you could be like, you were like in a corner and you were looking at a YouTube page, which is not something that I wanted to happen. So I'll make sure, I'm gonna be home anyway this time. Um, I'll just be with family or whatever. I might be in the background. I might be playing video games and have something in the background while you're watching, who knows. But I will be streaming on Thanksgiving. Streaming is uh, taking a little bit of a back uh, back seat, uh, like while I normalize my work and my release schedule for short films uh, and get a um, a backlog. I, you know, I gotta keep keep things rolling um, so that I have time for it. 
But yeah, let me get my dad together um, before I start rambling. Um, hope everybody's day's been good. Um, and hey, if you're a creator and you're looking for music um, to feature in your content, go ahead and really, really take a look at the uh, the YouTube. Um, what's it called? Uh, YouTube audio library. Um, this particular uh, track is from the uh, audio library and they've got quite a few more uh, available. Um, and it's free. Uh, and also hassle free. They won't, uh, YouTube will not mess with you. So um, take advantage of that. And there's a lot in there. There's, there's a lot of different things in there. Uh, something surely you can find useful. I like uh, this particular track because it's got that um, cyberpunk slash uh, like suspense uh, boss music kind of feel to it. Uh, kind of, you know. Like the opening to a mission. You know? Or like a um, your pause screen. Kind of, yeah, it kind of reminds me of like, uh, I mean, it's not as hopping as 007's like pause screen, but like, you know, like those classic like pause screens when they knew that you were going to have this plan for a little, like it was going to be on pause for a minute, or you were going to be on the select screen for, uh, or not the select, yeah, the select screen, or the character screen, or whatever menu where they knew you were going to be, like you might leave it here for a little while. Sort of like a Doom soundtrack, too. A little bit of Lost Highway in there. You got those background sounds going on. Christmas, I think I'm going to get a more permanent solution type back, uh, green screen um, so that I don't have to pin it up every time I go to use it. Um, and I can take this one into work so we can use that for filming there. And just, in a, um, just a, a, a small point on, uh, I've, I've noticed that I've got on some of my comments for some of my um, uh, my reviews for like nicotine devices. Uh, commenting about the price. I mean like I live in the DMV, guys. Um, so, <coughs> prices are generally a little higher here in the capital. <coughs> Not for everything, but um, they usually get you for nicotine here in Virginia. booze is relatively cheap. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> but our nicotine is <coughs> getting kind of high these days. <coughs> all right, all right, all right. So. Welcome to tonight's feature, ladies and gentlemen, The Darkest of Hearts. Probably not. Why not? I don't know, Becca. I just... Just not sure. Arnie, you never get out anymore. And plus, with everything happening with your parents, it will do you good to have one night of fun. I guess. If you say so. And it's a Halloween party. You love Halloween. Yeah. It's also a party that doesn't really seem like somewhere where Arnie thrives. Well, there's only one way to find out. I mean, you, to get you out. don't have to fucking say Live. that in his face. Experience it. Yep. Speaking of living, experiencing, tell me a little more about this ritual stuff. Okay. So basically, all it is is opening up a spiritual connection between our world and their world. No, I do all the around time. Around you shouldn't be. Oh, really? Already? Mm -hmm. Yep. I did it last week. It's really not that big a video. Why are you scared? Uh, yeah, I am actually. Well, either way, I'm still not convinced this is all real. You know, Tom, you should really be more careful what you say. I mean, you can't blame me. Yeah. The closest thing I've seen to a demon is the look on my mom's face the last time I wrecked the car. I honestly don't know how you still have a license. <laughs> I do like the banter. Oh, here it is. Good. Turn around up here. Pretty good. This is it? Yeah, this doesn't look sketchy at all. Come on, guys, it's not that bad. I mean, this, it, it, what do it you is. See in him, Becca? I'll say this it is like a. It is like. <clears throat> things don't feel forced, and I kind of like that. Like, if, you know you're going to have a conversation piece inside a, a vehicle um and and even though this you know it doesn't look like the camera doesn't look like like a like cinema like looks like you know how there's a difference between like tv and like uh movies and shit like that it makes it more real because this is what you're like you know like this is what you're seeing like especially if you're somebody like me wears glasses this is what we see every day we're always looking through some fucking lenses you know what i'm saying so this is as real as you know you know this is this is good this is fine you know i mean would you peel back all the jock layers he's got a heart of gold 
Mm. You just have to mm. get to know them. Sure. Like most people. Remember, people wear their assholishness as, uh, as armor as much as anybody else uses whatever they have to for defense. Kind of reminds you of uh, um, at a Ghostbusters, like when 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 they were first looking at the firehouse, and like uh, Egon uh, and um, and and um, Peter are like, this place is a dump. You know, we're trying to get like you know a lower and you know drop the price and shit, and like Ray comes down the fucking fire uh, the fire pole is like, this place is great. We should spend the night here. When can we move in? take anything seriously. Lighten up, Ernie. Maybe if you put down your calculator and lived a little bit, you might have more than one person who actually enjoys spending time with you. Yeah, well, maybe if you took your head out of your jock strap for five minutes, you might realize that you're a complete... Hey, 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 hey. Play nice, you guys. He started it. Real mature. You want to take this around back, Scrawny? Hey, yeah, no one's taking anything cool. around anything. Let's check this place out. Um, I forgot the candles in the car. You want to get them? Ah. Yeah. Gosh, that kid just makes me want to... Where are these dang candles? Gotta be kidding myself. getting out soon and I don't think mom's gonna make it. Hey, what are you doing? We need the candles. Can't do this ritual. What are you doing? Let go of me! Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this one time. Stay away from Rebecca. She would never be with a joke like you. It's funny, you actually thought you had a chance. So tell me. 
How does it feel to be powerless? Hey boys, is everything okay out here? Yeah, everything's fine. Right. You know, these candles smell like butthole. I mean, I would have directed that strength, uh, that, that fucking, uh, uh, that uh, at him, man. Like, honestly. things go wrong, he's got to make a morality choice. Are you going to let that motherfucker rot or are you going to save his life? If that's the way things go. Oh, just chit chat. Guy stuff. You wouldn't understand. Alright, whatever. Let's get this started. Listen, Becca, I don't really think this is a good idea. I mean, what if something doesn't go as planned? Uh, come on, Arnie. Nothing bad is gonna happen. I promise. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but seriously, as long as we take this serious and you guys don't do anything stupid, we'll be okay. That's a pretty big if. A yeah. Pretty big and considering he's here. Oh, guys, cut it out. Help me light these candles. You guys ready to get this started? Sure. Okay. So for this to actually work, we need to make a spiritual connection between our world and the spiritual world. So everyone put your personal items in the middle. to focus on opening up a connection. But whatever you do, do not break this connection. It can mess things up big time. What's the worst that could happen? Well, if you break the connection before it's properly closed, then you run the risk of getting possessed by anything that enters into our realm. But it only possesses the one with the darkest of hearts. And that doesn't pertain to any of us, so I think we're gonna be okay. The darkest of hearts? What's that supposed to mean? Well, demons feed off of things like hate and malice. Yeah, it would be nice, young lady, if you actually explained all the rules and repercussions to this little soiree that you are conducting. Just a movie. Just a movie. 
and things like that. So if they find that in you, then they will possess you and there's no guarantee that you'll come back the same. But that being said, while we do this, let's focus on things like light and positivity. We shouldn't be scared because they feed off of that too. Okay, so let's grab hands. All right, close your eyes. I see, I foresee great and Focus. terrible things about to happen. Are there any spirits here that wish to communicate with us? God. Spirits above <laughs> and spirits below, we recognize you and we welcome you. <coughs> we welcome you to come into our space and communicate with us and talk with us and warn us. Rebecca, I really don't think this is a good idea. We welcome you to come into our space. Uh -oh. Feel free to move about or move things around. Arnie? Arnie. Hey, Arnie? Arnie. Hey, look at me, Arnie. Hey, Arnie? Arnie, hey, Arnie, talk to me. Hey, Rebecca, are you okay? We need to stop. Arnie! Rebecca, we need to stop this. I mean, he was already in a bad place when you all entered this, th this, the, the, you did this thing, like, like, yeah, your little jock friend is dead, like, like, he's probably eating that, uh, he's probably, like, ripping that dude's guts out, like, I, I don't, This is your fault. Pray to God, lady. Like I, I, I'm, I'm really fucking like I'm like. You better ask for some fucking divine intervention, or 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 figure out how to banish this motherfucker. where we used to keep the internet.
Yeah, yeah, that shit's awesome. I mean, <clears throat> at least you're still alive. I mean, at this point, you're just a, a toy, a plaything, like maybe possibly food. Like, but I don't, I don't know. that this happened. Somebody just committed murder or attempted murder because if he didn't do anything to you. I don't, I don't know. This is a little bit confusing. There's five seconds left. I get the ball, I pump left. Fake right, throw the bottle rod. He's like 35, 40 yards out. He catches it with one hand, somehow manages to stay on his feet, runs in it for a touchdown, game over. It was insane. I'm still hyped, but. Coming to the game on Friday? I don't know, Tom. I don't really feel like going out. What do you mean? I don't know, it just. It isn't so right. Why not? I guess I'm just still. Shaking up about things with Arnie. Really? Arnie again? Yes, Arnie again. Tom? You need to forget about him. I'm not just gonna forget about someone I have known my entire life. I don't care if you've known him your entire life. <laughs> French fries? Grilled cheese? Enjoy. Thanks. I don't care if you've known him your entire life. Think about it. It's been three weeks. Nobody's come looking for him. <laughs> no one's gonna, gonna come back on us. No one is gonna find him. He's gone. From the most recent activities of the Syrian government. Tonight's top story, a series of mysterious murders have been reported in and around the tri-state area. Victims were reportedly ripped apart <laughs> and left with the word powerless carved somewhere on their body. Officials are enacting a curfew effective tonight. No citizen is to be out past 8 p.m. and everyone is advised to minimize the time spent alone by themselves. And other news, Donald that, Trump is that is awesome. No. No. <laughs> Not him. You heard what the radio said. I don't care what the radio said. He's gone. <laughs> Why don't you we head back to my house? Dumbass. I can get him. You always remain a Watch dumbass, me. brother. It'll be fun. Do you like that? Thank you. 
Hej. Did you have anything to watch? Yeah, it's just some old movie that my mom used to love. We used to watch movies all the time. Now she's constantly just going around the country with dad. Every once in a while when they're all home, we just kind of sit around and eat popcorn and just be together. It was perfect. Explain some of your behaviors. Rebecca, so I was thinking. Oh, jeez, you've been thinking. <laughs> yeah. And I was wondering if maybe you wanted to make this whole thing official. And you'd be my girlfriend. Really? Just some idiot kid. Supernaturally on time. So if it literally happens all the time. How does it feel to be powerless? Seems like him and the demon have come to an understanding at this point. I mean, you hit that fool with a goddamn car. You think a stabbing is gonna fucking stop this guy now? Not saying she deserves what she's getting, but maybe a knife wound will stop a demon. It's still human. But, 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 but he's he he was hit by a car. He was folded in fucking half. I, I don't. Maybe it was just about getting, like, what's his name for hitting him. I don't know. He feels like all those folks on the way home. It's okay. It's Partially your fault, but I'm glad you did. All things considered. It's pretty good. Whoever was doing the titles and putting the work in, though. This is pretty good, too. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, that was The Darkest of Hearts. Um, sound off in the comments. Uh, tell me what you thought about this one. Um, I liked it, especially for... What was it? Made under... Uh, made for less than $100. Like, yeah, that's how you shoestring the shit out of that. Bravo, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Be safe, be happy, and be healthy. Peace.